How's it going, guys? My name is Daniel. We're over here at Rap Legacy, and uh, I'm actually pretty excited because we talked to you guys just briefly a little while ago. But um, yeah, can you guys uh, tell us maybe a little bit about your brand, what you got going on? You know, you good, sir? Yeah. Actually, before I even do that, can you guys introduce yourselves? I'm sorry oh, for Jonathan. not even giving you the floor. <laughs> my name is Jonathan. I'm the owner right here at Rap Legacy, and uh, this is Keith. Hey, how's it going? Owner and sticker this decals. So basically what me and him, we just collab today because we like to help out like a lot of small businesses coming on up. So we're always into helping each other out and it's not, it's not us and him, but it's other uh, shops that, you know, basically come together and, you know, we build into the car industry together. You know, we grow together and we always like to introduce other people and just get our names out there with, with you know, with everyone and stuff. Yeah, but uh, mostly what we do here is we actually, uh, we buy no wrap cars. Uh, we also do uh, wide body modifications, installations, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, pretty much anything that has to do with vehicles, we're on it. Whether it's rims, whether it's bags, or, or riding static, anything that we, you know, that's what we do. Oh, nice, man. So, so you guys work together on this, you, meaning that, like, you guys are coming from different angles, pretty much? Pretty like much. So pretty much what I do is I do all the graphics. So whenever they need any kind of graphics or any kind of artwork done, I pretty much I cut it all out and then go take it over to them. They do all the installation. Sometimes they give me my, my opinion on what how it should look or where it should go. But for the most part, we just try and work together, get the build done so that it comes out looking flawless and what more of an expectation than we expected. Oh, nice, man. Okay, yeah. So tell us, uh, tell us how you guys met. Like how you guys ended up uh, working together. We were at the OC Expo, and I met his buddy and him, Edwin, over there. And from there, it just kicked off. We were doing, first we were doing just decals, and then after that, we started doing graphics. So it was just a whole big explosion of magic. Hmm. That's what you call it, magic. <laughs> it's just magic, folks. That's it, man. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, I don't know, for me, like, I always find that interesting, like, how, like, all these things, it's kind of like, you know when you ask your friends, and you're oh, like, hey, how did we become friends? Be, yeah, or how did you guys become friends? We're smoking a joint one day. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Or I ran into, you know, your cousin or something, whatever, like, random stuff, you know? Yeah, it's pretty much how it came, oh, like that. So, are you guys both local, like, from SoCal, or? Yeah, yes. I'm in Santa Ana, so it's a little bit of a ways, but we're in the same area, okay. same city, same county. We always manage to just like, we needed something like, hey bro, da 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 da, this is what we need. All right, I'll hit your way. Or we have like, we have everybody just pitching in and just coming together and just, you know, make everything look as good as possible, you know? So he's a big help, you know, hopefully we, we're a big help to him and to others as far as even, even customers. Just as simple as customers, we always have a big help to them between us. Nice. So what's your guys' like philosophy, like when you're going to design like, one of the stickers or whether you're putting together like rap like where is it like where is it coming from like what's what's like the whole idea behind it uh the whole idea of it is to give the greatest quality as we can to where customers don't have to come back and complain but yet are more looking forward to showing off what we've done and what they made to their car All right, so uh, so can you guys tell me a little bit about this project like uh, this is a customer project right uh, so basically, this is an ordinary Range Rover, and uh, he actually purchased this from a company called Mansory. Now, Mansory is pretty big in uh, in the carbon fiber industry. So actually, this was in the hands of LTMW, which is another shop in El Monte. They actually put this car together, and then we did uh, the paint protection film that goes over it to protect the car from rock chips or anything, and you know from damages on the actual paint that it is. But yeah, it was a collaboration. Um, I mean, LT did all the body work, all, everything, the painting and everything. We just came in and just basically protected the investment, you know, pretty much. It's pretty sexy, man. Like, it's really rare that I've seen a Range Rover at like any show. So like, that kind of just throws me for a loop. Like, did you guys plan on it? It was like, oh, we got to bring something out that like you never see. Or was it just like, eh. Actually, we were supposed to bring the same customers, uh, Mini Cooper on Liberty Walk. But at the time of the picking up, it wasn't functioning right. So we had this at the shop ready, and he was just like, well, just take it. I was like, all right, I'm just going to take it. Let's go. You know? I think you're lying, man. I think you're going to open up the trunk, and it's going to slide right out the back, right? Like the old Knight Rider show, like the Mini Cooper is just going to come right out. Oh, man, I wish. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> A couple machine guns blazing or something. <laughs> no, Dang, man. But, yeah, this is, uh, it's like I said, man, it's a, it was a good project for them, and I was, uh, I'm just glad I was able to be part of it. And, 
you know, get in there and, and touch my hands on is actually, you know, it's pretty cool. That's cool, man. I mean, are these pretty easy to like work on? Like, I know you're doing like the rap, but like, again, it's so rare, man. I don't see it. So like, like what's your guys like, how'd you tackle this one? Uh, with the paint protection, it was actually pretty difficult just because it has a lot of curves, a lot of dips, and, uh, you know, it has a lot of weird stuff on there. But, uh, you know, I mean, experience over time, it teaches you how to get certain things without leaving so many scenes or so many cuts on the car. So you're able to focus now on, you know, where we can just lay off and let it sit where it doesn't, you know, show or anywhere. Because, honestly, this is paint protection. You can't even tell it's on it, you know? Yeah, man, it looks really, really clean. I, I like it, man, and uh, I never heard of Mace, Man, Mansory. Mansory, where uh, where are they based out of? Uh, I, I believe they're based out of Germany, so they're they're pretty big out there, and it's somebody and they're trying to bring it out here. So the guy who actually distributes is actually a company called Gym Performance. So they really push this a lot with this, this and Liberty Walk. So they're really big on that, um, but they're trying to bring it over here. It's it's an expensive body kit, but I mean. For style and looks and love for your car, I mean, you know, it's worth every penny. Well, especially from Germany, man. I'm guessing everything's made of gold and everything, right? It's nice. That's cool, man. So can you tell me, man, you're a graphic artist, right? Yeah. Like, how, what's your philosophy? Like, when you start designing something, like, I know you probably have to have a starting point, right? But, like, where do you go, like, I'm going to make some badass shit, you know? Like, nice, nice hat, shirts, whatever, you know, like. How do you do it? Uh, to be honest, I just kind of more or less would think if I'm going to wear it or I'm going to rock it, how would I want it? And pretty much what I do is I just give my feedback, kind of mix ideas and see how they want to go about it. And obviously, if ideas don't match up, then we always find a way to make the ideas go together where it flows and it looks flawless and it's something that's never been done, never been seen. So that's pretty much how I go about it when I'm designing something or getting ready to print artwork. So that's pretty much about it. That's cool, man. Like, you know, as an artist myself, like, I always love hearing, like, how you guys do it because, like, everyone's so different, right? Like, no one starts, like, drawing a face the same way, for example, right? Yeah. But, like, um, have you guys worked on a project together where, like, maybe you designed something and then you guys put it together, like, either through a wrap or something? Like, a couple of different projects we did. Uh, right now we're working with Saline. We're doing a lot of graphic stripes and a bunch of other stuff. We also did um, the Ben's Mob logo we're still on the works on that getting ready for that but the ben's mob be sure to look out for that uh, if you guys want to get in contact for ben's mob make sure you guys hit my buddy jonathan over here um, but pretty much that one is going to be old school mercedes and the logo is going to look like a godfather style font so that one we're really really looking forward to that one Can you tell us a little bit about that too uh ben's mob is basically uh it's uh, me and my two brothers, we drive nothing but old school Mercedes. So we took something that a lot of people, as you can walk around car shows, you will never see old school Mercedes Benz just because of the fact that it's difficult to work on. But uh, I managed to take a 79 280 CE and, you know, it's almost complete. My brother-in-law, uh, he drives a 560 SEC and that's an 88. And my, uh, his other brother also drives a 91 uh, 500 SL. So we're really based on the old school just because a lot of people don't like working on them. And secondly, like, you don't see that in the, in the car industry. You don't, like, and it's very difficult to bring those up. But so far, we managed to get a lot of love from it, a lot of great positive feedback. Uh, we slam them, we wrap them, we, we do everything to it just to give it a whole new look. And a lot of people are starting to pick up on that now. So That's cool, man. Well, let me ask you, like, I've just been curious. Um, you know, I'm a fan of like a lot of the older school cars, right? Like 90s and before. But, um, you know, sometimes like, especially around here, you don't see too many. But like one trend I keep seeing, and maybe you saw, it, there was a BMW down like towards the, the front that uh, I don't know what year it was, but like it had a total total swap, right? It had a Corvette engine. Like, what do you guys, like, are you a purist? Or you're like, eh, you know, I can live with that. I can honestly live with it. The engine swap is always really big in the game, especially for older models because they have such a, you know, wide uh, uh, inside under the hood. But uh, like for example, me as a Mercedes, I'm more of a cruiser than it is on, you know, speed. I love cruising. I love just going down boulevards, just you know, riding low and just you know about myself and music. To where like you know, drifting and speeding, it's something not in my chapter. I love it, but it's not something a part of for me, you know. Where for Keith. I can honestly tell that's something that's more of him, you know? So it's pretty cool to have like two different smite sets on two different like front of vehicles on the same aspect. But uh, I mean, you know, everybody has a different look on it, you know? 
Well, how, how do you feel, man? Are you like totally against that? Or what? No, to be honest, I like older cars than newer cars. One, newer cars, you got to take a bunch of stuff off just to get to one thing or just to customize it. And once you do, it looks good, but it doesn't look how you thought it was. I'm more or less, I like the older cars, so older Civics, older Beamers, Hondas, like anything old, it's dope because it's got an older body style that you can put new stuff on and make it look totally beast. You can make it look aggressive. You can make it look however you want. And it's your taste, it's your spin, and you can either get positive or negative feedback. So it's just more or less building it how you want it. But the speed is always there. You can make it fast, you can make it slow. I personally, I like it fast. I like to go fast. Slow is when you're cruising with the family and you got nothing else to do on a weekend, but hey, you gotta do whatever feels best. Yeah, man, that's like, when you get to that point, right? You're like... When, once you get older, then you're like, all right, now it's time to slow down. Well, <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Dude, believe me, man, like, hearing so much flack from everyone, like, just because I'm over 30, you know? It's like, dude, I'm not dead yet, you know? Like, there's plenty of life. What are you talking about? The new 30s is a new 15. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, you know? So tell us, man, like, what, what, what do you got coming up next? Like, uh, uh, new projects? Next, uh, I got a show coming up on the 21st, which is the 2E Distribution uh, Car Show. It's a family-friendly, fam family family-oriented event. We're going to be doing it's a free show, a bunch of raffles. They're going to have pupusas, tacos, I'm there, candy, man. and jumpers for the kids. So we're trying to make it as family-oriented. Uh, I got a couple other shows, just can't really remember. I know for sure one other one is going to be the Specty Tuning Spring Show Off. That one's going to be pretty dope, but I'm still trying to finish my Civic, which is the Boba Fett car. You guys will see that one pretty soon. It's going to be a whole totally different spin on a 96 Civic. Oh, that sounds nice, dude. And you said pupusas, so I'm already there, man. Like, I'm, I'm already there, man. <laughs> what about you, man? What, what, what do you got coming up next? Uh, we have a project coming on uh, pretty soon. It's a Porsche, and uh, it has a road cage and everything. And uh, he's really looking forward to, for, uh, to collaborate with us. And uh, that's actually going to be in the next show, which is uh, March, right? That's going to be the March in L.A. So it's, it's, we're looking forward to it, man. It's going to be pretty awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk, man. We're really looking forward to it. Uh, maybe seeing you guys again. And, uh, you know, can you guys tell everyone, like, where they can find you guys, like, online, like, Instagram, Facebook? All right, you guys can find me at Sticker This Decals or Static Versus Bag Lords. Uh, you can find us at Rap underscore Legacy on Instagram or on Yelp, whichever one it's uh, preferred. And uh, just give us a call or DM us or anything for more info on your rap.